hi guys welcome to my kitchen so guys I'm cooking some dinner and for dinner it's gonna be rice and gungu peas cooking cook down in coconut milk and cow skin and cow tripe so it's gonna be let me say it let me turn it around right now it's gonna be for dinner it's going to be cow skin with cow tripe cow skin with cow belly so you know the, the inside of the cow you have the book you have this tripe so it, all those things make up the cow belly <laughs> so now we have the cow skin itself and the cow belly so I don't have the tribe but I only have the book so I'm gonna show it to you because I know the things them in the belly you know the goat belly the cow belly and the ag belly yes because remember I, I if you watch my video guys I told you that I used to raise pig I used to raise ag back home so I used to kill and sell to the community yes kill and trust it out to the community and then two weeks now I collect the money and um, when I was traveling to America I leave two two piggy two hog in the pen and my children do the same thing kill them trust it out to the community and then collect the money two weeks time so anyway for dinner it's gonna be cow skin and cow belly and um i'm gonna serve it up with rice and gungu peas cooked down in coconut milk yes and i'm using the canned milk and i'm using the canned gungu peas also so right now my water is on the um and the, and in the pot and i'm gonna put it i'm gonna season it yes i'm gonna season it so crack me garlic like so you have to knock it because when we have first done burning in a seat a crack well that one crack because it's small <laughs> yes honey anyway so i have garlic i have a maggi cube right here um, so I might come out of the pot because I did a uh, mash it up because it's kind of hard. So I use a spoon and mash it up. So I have garlic, scallion, thyme and a maggi cube. So just a mash the scallion. Right now I have season up the um, the rice and peas pot. Yes. Scallion, thyme, garlic. We have one onion here. We can cut up onion in there also. season the pot right right okay so skeleton thyme garlic and a magic cube so that is it and I'm also going to put a, a pepper in there And so I chew out. That is it. So the water is seasoned. So now I'm going to put the peas in. The peas are already cooked. 
put peas in the can. So I'm just going to let it boil. The seasoning boil in there. Because the peas are already cooked. And this is the coconut milk. So the water was boiling, you know. The water was boiling. I don't put it in. Um, I'm not using cold water. The water was boiling. This is the coconut milk. So I'm just gonna cover it now and let it boil. And then after, I'm gonna put a little salt in there. I already put the Maggi cube in there. is it so now I'm going to wash my cow skin so guys this is my cow skin so it already cut up but me just have to just um, clean it up and buy it at the meat shop. So I'm just going to scrape off all these burn. I you know when they kill it cold, them burn the skin and scrape it. So when you go to this meat shop and buy it, you have to come home with it and um, clean, it, clean it up for yourself. Scrape it off. You know, but they already do a lot of work on it. Burn it and scrape it. So you know if you come home with it and clean it up how oh, you want it to clean up. You know, so. So this is the cow belly. And this is the book. So normally you would get tripe when you buy cow belly you get tripe but I'm not getting no tripe with this because I tripe at the long one I'm not getting no tripe with this I just get the book piece a piece of the book this is a piece of the book and the tri and the skin so I am here right now scraping it and cleaning it clean it up all I want I would like it to clean up and for me to eat it so I'm gonna put some vinegar on it and wash it with lime as usual you know wash it with lime and vinegar as usual so now that I show you the cold skin guys I'm just gonna go ahead and Clean it up, scrape off the back of it and all of that, and cut up the book. Yes, I'm gonna slice up the book. So it is the cow belly. Come from inside of the belly. This, the book. And this is the skin. So I'm just scraping it up, cleaning it up. I make it come pretty. Yes. Get it pretty. 
even though they're pretty already because they do a good job you know so as I said I'm gonna wash it with lime and vinegar but I just have to clean it up scrape it off first and that is it I hate that So guys, I already scraped off the cow skin. So now I start to cut up the, the cow belly. I'm gonna wash it off now with the vinegar and the lime. And I don't need to cut the um the the um the coarse skin because it already cut up. So this is the book. And you know the um cow belly. I don't get any of the tripe. The tripe is the long one. Some of them big, some of them fat. But this is the book. Oh, now I'll get copyright for that. Some guys, and I just cut them up. Season it up with some of my favorite seasoning. And I'm gonna pressure it. Because you know cow skin tough. I don't know if they may soft. So I'm gonna put it in the pressure cooker and pressure it. as I said before this is the book but it's the cow belly is it, it um it is the cow belly the only thing I don't have in there is stripe this is the cow tripe and if you want to call it cow tripe you can't say cow tripe because that come out like cow belly but I know it as the book honey coming from the hills of Smithville I heard them said is the book this is the tripe pretty scrape it off pretty and all of that so i'm just gonna sprinkle some of my favorite seasoning on it and put it in the pressure cooker so guys my my um my cold skin and cold belly is seasoned I sprinkle the seeds, some of my favorite season on it and I put some pimento seed on it. When you're doing this type of meat guys, you want to have some pimento seed on it. So, let's rub it up. And also, 
I have a green pepper. I'm going to put it in the pot. In my rice and peas pot. And this is it. And, and as for the, the pimento seed, guys, I wash it and I give it a mash. I just put it in my towel and mash it. Yes, I like to mash it. Only when I'm cooking soup, I don't mash it. But if I'm putting it on meat, I mash it. So this is it. And this is my seasoning for it. I have garlic, onion, country pepper, sweet pepper, red, green, and yellow, and scallion, and I have thyme. I have some thyme right here. These are the, um, these thyme dry. So I keep them in the paper bag, and they, um, keep them like so. Put them on the paper towel and put them in the paper bag. So I have scallion, thyme, onion, garlic, pepper, and sweet pepper. So I'm going to cut them up. I'm just going to let this um, soak a little bit before I put it on. This is a scallion. So now continue cut them up guys. So guys my seasoning is cut up and it's time to cook the cow skin cow skin and tripe or cow skin and cow belly. So I have some boiling water in my kettle. I'm going to boil some more. Later, I will add the seasoning. Um, this seasoning, uh, it already seasoned with the powder season already. I don't put my walker's wood in there yet, and this is some herb. So it's gonna go in when these is going in. So I have onion, scallion, thyme, garlic, country pepper, sweet pepper, and I'm gonna take care of the rice pot. So guys, I wash my rice and I put it in the pot, so let's check the rice. So this is the rice and peas, this is rice and gungo peas, with all the seasoning them in there. This is the pepper, so the green pepper there. 
So oh I took the rice guys I just put the pot in the pot. As I can see the rice dry out so this is ready. Perfect. And in a little while I'm gonna check the cold skin. So guys, my cold skin is pressured, cooked, so I'm now going to add the seasoning to the pot. I know the pot is um, a bit tall. So you guys might not see it in there, but don't worry, you're going to see it. So I'm going to just rinse this out, some of the water, and cover it and let it cook down. I'm going to put some of my herbs in there um, this is cilantro parsley oregano and some of the walkers with jerk season i'm just rinsing out the bowl so guys i already put some of the the herbs in there so now I'm going to put some of my waffles wood. And this one is the spicy one. So I'm just going to cover it. And I'm going to put some butter in there also. But let the seasoning cook on it for now. So guys... I change it into this pot. So this is some butter bean. And I already put some butter in there, guys. I, re I already put some butter in there. And I'm going to put a little ketchup for thickening. This is cow skin and cow tripe with butter bean. And um, this is what I save off of it. So this is cow skin soup. And I'm going to drink this to strengthen my back. Yeah, girl work hard, girl of his strength in our back. Yes, guys, it's not only the man back needs strength, girl back needs strength also. So, I'm gonna drink this with my back. So, guys, this is my finished dish. And a lot more in the pot, guys. Lots more rice and peas. Rice and peas with the green pepper on top. Cow tripe. Cow skin and tripe. So if you stop by guys, you will get dinner. You will get dinner. So I serve it up. Um... I serve up my cow skin and tripe with um, rice and gungo peas, cooking coconut milk, and for vegetable I have broccoli and cucumber. So guys, this is it.
so if you like my video guys please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here guys please welcome you are welcome please like share and subscribe to the channel and please remember to leave a um, comment and give the video a thumbs up There we have it. Cow skin and tripe with bean, with butter bean. And rice and peas. And vegetable. Broccoli and cucumber.